India is a multicultural country, and much of this is visible in Indian cinema as well. Each region in India has its own history of filmmaking and its own superstars. So, with that said, today, we are gonna look at the top 5 Indian actors who are insanely popular and has the most number of fan base. Before we move on to the main video, subscribe to our channel if you're a movie freak and never wants to miss a good movie. Number 5. Mahesh Babu. This 45-year-old veteran is a Telugu actor with a net worth of $18 million. He charges 20 to 25 crore per film. He first appeared in 1979 in a movie named Nita when he was four years old. He starred in many movies till 1990 as a child artist. Then he took a break from acting and started to concentrate in his education. After that, he made his debut in a 1999 movie, whereas he gained the award for the best male debut. Then he starred in significant movies. In 2006 he starred in a movie named Pakiri which was actually a Telugu remake. After this movie his fan base increased significantly. The movies which he starred in 2006 and 2007 became a failure. Then he took a long break from acting due to personal reasons. In 2011 he made his comeback, the film was the first Telugu movie to gross over 1 billion Indian rupees. In 2017, he made his debut in Tamil cinema. Overall, his movies are totally watchable, and his acting seems to be so pleasant on screen. He has acted at least 35 movies and won 23 awards. He's also an ambassador for about a dozen of Indian brands. Here are some of his best movies. Number 4. Joseph Vijay. He's a Tamil actor who has a net worth of $56 million, he charges 20 to 25 crores per film, it has been revealed that he was asked to pay 46 crore for a film. So when speaking of his acting career, he was introduced to Tamil cinema by his father Chandrasekharan. He made his debut as an actor in 1984 in a movie directed by his father as a child artist. Then he started to play lead roles in 1992. His early life in acting was so critical, movies didn't gain the appreciation as expected. After that he starred in the movie named Talad Hamanamam Thulam, which gained him the reputation of a romantic hero. After that, he appeared in three movies in 2001 which became box office successes. Moreover, he starred in the movie in 2004, which was the first movie to collect 500 million Indian rupees. This movie increased the fan base of him. Further, he starred in movies year by year. Then his performance in the film named Thirupaji, where he had to play the role of a caring brother, earned him special prize at Tamil Nadu State Awards. All of his subsequent releases from 2007 to 2009 was average successes, while his 50th film became a major flop. Moreover, in 2011 his career prospects improved, in 2012 his two films hit the box office. Then he never failed to prove his talent in acting, until now some of his movies are here and there, but he never failed to satisfy his fans. His films are really watchable from small kids to the aged ones. During this pandemic he is taking part in protests and also helping out many charities. He has won an honorary doctorate award in 2007, Most Trusted Indian Personality Award, Best International Actor Award in 2018 and 47 other awards. He's the most loved entertaining actor worldwide and a very humble human being living out of simplicity. Here are some of his best movies. Number 3. <laughs> Rajni Khan. This 70 year old man is a Tamil actor whose net worth is of $50 million. He charges 30 crore per film, recently it has been reported that he was asked to get paid 46 crore for a film. Many people have got motivational stories of their own, he is one of that many. After his education, in 1970 he started to work for Cooley and then as a bus conductor. After that he started to an acting course in the newly formed Film Institute. While in this, his friend and his co-worker helped him financially to complete the phase. 
Further, his performance in acting was considered by the film director named Bala Chander. Lately, in 1975 under his direction, Rajni Kant casted in a movie named Apoorvarag Angle, where he had to play the role of an abusive husband. However, the movie gained critical acclaims and won three national film awards. His first film impressed many. His character in the cinema was really dignified. After that he casted as a villain in his next movie which caught the attention of fans. In 1977 he made his lead role in a Telugu movie. On the following year he was experimented as a positive role by the director named S.P. Muthuraman. This film became a tremendous success and made this duo to make films till 1990s. In 1983 he made his debut in Hindi films. In 1993 he became a screenwriter which became a commercial success. In 1995 he starred in the movie named Basha, where his fanbase got increased and he earned the demigod status in Tamil Nadu. Lately he starred in some movies constantly. Then in 2007 one of his big movie named Shivaji the Boss got released, where he was paid 260 million Indian rupees which made him the second most paid actor in Asia. Likewise, his demigod persona is continuing until now. Though he's old, most of us get goosebumps when watching his movies. There was a period where his health condition got critical and some of his fans committed suicide which was totally out of gratitude, while most did prayers and protests. He has won two civilian honor awards and 22 other awards. He's a humble human being living out of simplicity. In a recent report it has been relieved that he has acted more than 175 movies. Here are some of his best ones. Number 2. Akshay Kumar. This 53-year-old veteran is a Hindi actor whose net worth is of $240 million. He charges 120 crore per film. Recently according to the reports, it has been stated that he increased to 135 crore. He was born for an army officer in Punjab. He lived and grew in Delhi, and lately he moved to Bombay. He enrolled for higher education but was dropped out because he was less interested in studies. He was really interested in martial arts, so he requested his father if he could become a martial artist. During that time his father had some money saved and sent Kumar to Thailand. He went and lived in Thailand learning Thai boxing for five years. He won a black belt in Taekwondo while in India. Lately he moved back to Thailand and continued his kickboxing while working as a chef and a waiter. After that he returned to India and started to do modeling, also worked as a background dancer in various films. Lately with his arranged portfolio he visited a film studio, in the same evening he was signed for a lead role in a film back in 1991. His next movie received poor reviews. In the following year he starred in another movie which considered him as a breakthrough role. He featured in 11 films in 1994, lately that year his movie became a mainstream success where he starred with actress Kajal. The performance in this movie gained positive reviews which also gained him the Best Actor Award at the film fairs. Till 1997 to 1999 his movies were only average successes. In 2000s, he was absurd, over the top and irritating to the core. In 2001 he starred as a negative role in a movie named Hanabi, which won him the best villain in EFA Awards 2002. And so on, his career prospects changed and his movies became hits and made him his fan favorite. Apart from acting, he has other off-screen work too. He does kickboxing, basketball, swimming and parkour as well. He intended to open a martial arts school in Maharashtra. This might be hard to believe, Akshay Kumar is a teetotaler, but he has endorsed liquor in his few films, and half of the sum which he earned was donated by him to charity works. In an interview he stated that he doesn't believe in any religion, and he only believes in being an Indian. He donates more of his earnings to charities and orphanage homes. As of 2013, it has been reported that he was the highest taxpayer in Hindi film industry. He won a civilian award in 2009, an honorary doctorate award in 2008, two national honor awards and 29 other awards. He has acted at least 143 movies, and here are some of his best movies. Number 1. Sharak Khan. This 55-year-old is an Hindi actor whose net worth is of $700 million. He charges 25 crore per film. To begin with, he came from a middle-class family who lived in New Delhi. After his education he used to intimate Bollywood actors in stage shows in 1985. Amrita Singh who was his acting partner became an actress in Bollywood. Lately with her help Sharak Khan stepped his feet in Bollywood. 
he debuted in a TV series in 1989 named Fergie. His appearance and acting style was totally the worse which made him to not act in movies. Lately, in 1991 he changed his decisions to act in movies, he found that as a way to pay his grievances for his mom's death. So he moved from Delhi to Mumbai, in 1992 he made his debut in movies, fortunately his first movie became a box office success and earned the Best Male Debut Award. Among his 1993 releases he starred as villain which also became box office hit. Further, he kept on starring in movies. His performance in the movie, where he starred with actress Kajhal gained him the Best Actor Film Fair Award. Sherik Khan's stammering and the use of phrase, I love you made him a fan favorite. In 1995 he starred in seven movies. His melodramatic thriller movie named Karan Arjun, where he starred with Salman Khan became the second most highest grossing film in India. His most significant release was Dil Wale Dilhaniya Lajayange, which is one of his best films. Where it became the highest grossing film in India and all-time blockbuster, with a gross of over $17 million. Back then this was the longest film running in India, and also this film won 10 Film Fair Awards. In 1996 all of his releases were major flop. His first film as a producer in 1999 led to failure. In 2000 he made his debut in Kaliwood, he performed in that movie for free of charge as his motive was to act with Kamal Hassan. In 2001 he suffered a spine injury while performing an action sequence. After that, he reduced his workload and his appearances in movies, he underwent a surgery in Wellington, London. Moreover, he starred in many movies. Let it be a romantic, funny, villain sequence he was so dedicated to do anything. After his performance in significant romantic movies, his fans named him as the king of romance. Lately he stated, call me as king, and not as king of romance. Until then too now he remains so dedicated and hardworking, though his films were a bit here and there his fans love to watch him on screen. He owns a cricket team in Indian Premier League named Kolkata Knight Riders. As of 2009 it was one of the richest teams due to its brand which valued $42 billion. He has won a Bollywood Business Award, two Excellence Honor Awards, Padma Shri Award in 2005, 12 honors from organizations and won hundreds of other awards as well. Here are some of his best movies. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, support our video by giving us a thumbs up. Stay tuned for the second part of this video, until that see you, cheers.